The ironic thing is that Coach Don Donaher had recruited me since my freshman or sophomore year. And so had Ohio State in Cincinnati. And Coach Hall comes in late, and, and I'm a senior. Now, I will tell you, this man drove from Lexington to Illinois to recruit Dan Issel, drove down to recruit me, and recruited a fellow by the name of George Janke, who played at Dayton. He just got in his car and drove around and recruited. Of course, Mike Casey was right here in Kentucky. Coach Rupp never saw me play. I don't believe he ever saw Dan Issel play. Coach Hall did it all. He convinced me that he would bring the people into this program to try to build another Rupp's Runs, another team like that, that played like that, shared the ball. He convinced me of that. He convinced me enough that I signed. Now, I can remember getting in the car with my brother and my mom and dad, coming down to school in August, going across the bridge in Cincinnati, across the Ohio Ocean. No air conditioner in the cars, 1966, still, I might have turned 18. And I remember thinking, crossing that river, my brother was to my left or right, I'm thinking, what have I done? I'm going down here, and the head coach, the legendary Adolph Rupp, has never seen me play. So I'm, I'm sweating bullets now, believe me. So we get in, and we get checked into the dorm, and everything goes pretty good, and they call the first team meeting a week later. Everybody's there, 3 o'clock, and they tell us, well, Coach Rupp time is 5 till 3 or 10 till 3, whatever, so we all show up early. We're freshmen in the back, and Louie and Pat and all of them come in, and, and, and Jairus, and they sit up front. And I look up there on the podium like this, and, and there's two guys and the trainer. Harry Lancaster and Adolph Rupp. I'm looking around and I'm thinking, well, where's, where's Coach Hall? And so the, we go through the meeting and, you know, these are the guys. So I go back to my dorm room, lay down on my bed, and I'm thinking, I have really screwed this one up. <laughs> so I had to ask Spike Kearns, the trainer at the time, I said, where, where do you think Coach Hall was? I was a little concerned because I had staked myself with him in my mind and he had seen me play a bunch of times. Oh, he's out recruiting. I said, oh. That's going to be good for me. But you know what? It was the best thing that ever happened in my life to come to the University of Kentucky, to be people. People are today still my friends. Um, today, when I run across them, we share and exchange uh, many, many stories. Some uh, you couldn't tell here and some you could. How about, uh, you know, uh, you made a couple, two or three from the field, but you went to the charity strike, six for six, man. Mm -hmm. You know, as a freshman on the road, step up there, we needed the hoops, you got it done. Uh, how did you, how'd you feel about all that stuff? All of a sudden, you become a star off the bench. <laughs> I mean, free throw, that's on my pocket.